Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about the Sage Ignite sessions, PowerPoint tips and video how to, a follow up to the Sleater Accounting Solutions Conference 2013. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We always record your live session so that you can review it afterwards as often as you like. Hey, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're doing it for the Sleater blog at www.sleater.com forward slash blog. And we're talking about the Ignite sessions and specifically I'm going to give you a few, few PowerPoint tips. Um, there's a few things I want to go over and then ultimately I'm going to finish off with showing you how to turn your PowerPoint presentation into a video unto itself which is what you may have already watched before you're watching this. I'm planning on embedding both videos in the blog post. One is my finished sort of private recording of my own Ignite session and then this one which is going to among other things walk you through how I did that. So, but first I want to show you a couple of PowerPoint tweaks that uh, I think might be helpful. I mentioned this in the blog post. If you come over to the uh, slideshow tab, uh, you'll want to check off this box here that says presenter view, especially for purposes of preparing for something like this, and even more especially for while you're presenting something like an Ignite session. It was a huge help to me, and I'm grateful to Ed Kless, who hosted the Ignite sessions from Sage, uh, because he actually set up the presenter view for us or he left it that set up that way so that we could see it and I'm going to show you what I mean in case you're not familiar with this and, and when you see it you'll understand exactly why I think it's so powerful and important so the other thing is it really helps to have more than one monitor especially when you're doing something like this because as you'll see in a second when I was preparing for this originally I, I got all my slides laid out I had an idea of what I wanted to say I actually chose the images first and sort of wrote the content around the images to some extent, you know, picking the images based on what the ultimate message was going to be. So I, I laid out the images and then I started writing the copy, keeping in mind that I had to make sure that the copy that I'm writing, as I'm saying it verbally, has to fit into a 15 second time frame. And I, didn't want, I certainly couldn't go over, but I also didn't want it to go too short. Uh, because I didn't want to be sitting there waiting for the slide to advance. The idea was to have it timed as perfectly as you can have it timed. So when I was writing this content, having the presenter view set really helped me because when I first started preparing for it, I was able to see these notes here that I've got written out. And with these notes, I was able to just recite it and watch the timing and make sure that it fit within the 15 seconds. So what am I talking about? If I now click to show it from the beginning, you're looking on my monitor three, which is where the actual um, uh, presentation is going. But on my second monitor, which I'm going to show you, but let me just make sure I can see what I'm doing here. On my second monitor, look what it does. It gives me my presenter notes. So I'm able to initially, before, long before I've got this thing memorized, I'm able to sit there reading off of these notes and making sure that the timing works. And then, of course, I was able to go back in and edit what I needed to, to, to make the timing work, to make sure that I was able to fit it in 15 seconds without going over or without sort of falling too short on it. So having these notes in front of me while the presentation is playing is key. And that means also being able to select which monitor I want the slideshow to show on. Because if you don't change this, the default is that it's going to show on the same monitor as where you've got you know, the actual PowerPoint, uh, you know, the, the source. So very, very helpful to have two monitors. And if you do, especially important to choose to have the slideshow present on another monitor so that you can watch your presenter view on the first monitor. And that made a huge difference for me in terms of preparing for this because, as I said, I was able to see the notes, I was able to recite it long before I had it memorized and get the timings down. And then little by little, I was able to memorize it. And that's just repetition. You repeat anything enough times, you're going to start to memorize it. And that's what I did. Even down to the last hour before we had to go actually present the Ignite session, I was repeating you know, the presentation. By then, I was standing up and not really looking at the notes so much anymore. And, and even trying to look somewhat away, but just knowing that I would probably have at least enough of a view to see when the slide changed in my peripheral vision to make sure that I could you know, keep the timings right. So that was critically important. Now, last piece, how did I record this? How did I make this into a video such as the one that you've either just seen or you're probably going to want to see next? When you install Camtasia on your computer, and assuming of course that you've already got Office and specifically PowerPoint installed, Camtasia will 
recognize the fact that you've got PowerPoint on your computer and as, in the installation process it will ask you if you wanted to install the PowerPoint add-in and of course you want to say yes. When you say yes and of course once the installation completes you'll have this add-ins tab if you didn't already have it from some other add-ins and you'll find here the Camtasia controls. All I've got to do now in order to record a slide, uh, slide presentation that I've prepared is click this report, record button and what uh, PowerPoint will do is PowerPoint will run through the slide presentation just like it would if I came over here and clicked from beginning but it's also once I'm finished going through the slides then once I stop the uh, presentation Camtasia will sort of kick in and, and prepare the uh, slideshow in a video format and drop it on the Camtasia timeline. And once you've got it there, you'll also notice, by the way, in the add-ins, let me back up a second, that I had my, well, I have my webcam turned on. So that puts the little picture-in-picture picture image that when you watch my recording of my Ignite session, you'll see my picture. So that's where it gets a little different than, of course, you know, when you're seeing it done live. But I added that in just for, you know, to make it a little more entertaining, to make it a little more engaging. And that's where Camtasia comes in. When you see the picture moving around the screen at different points to, so that it doesn't block the words, that's Camtasia. That's editing the video in Camtasia. And that's, of course, what Camtasia allows you to do, among many other things. So that's the secret to how to turn this into a really nice video, which you can then upload to uh, you know to YouTube or Vimeo or anywhere so what I would love to see is I would love to see some of my fellow presenters now having seen this video if you didn't already know how to do it I would love to see your own sort of private you know privately recorded version of your ignite session of course it's much easier to do because you can be sitting here looking right at the notes and reading off of them the trick of course is to look straight into the camera though while you're talking so that when somebody's watching you it looks like you're looking at them that's the uh, you know one of the things a lot of people overlook especially when they're new at making videos is looking into the camera is this the equivalent of looking into the eyes of your viewer that's how it's gonna look like you know when you're having a conversation with a person live you want to look into their eyes it's the appropriate thing to do it gives them the feeling that you're actually paying attention to them uh, in video the equivalent of that is actually looking right into the camera as I'm doing right now so that when you're looking at this video and you're looking at the portion where you see my mug it actually does look like I'm looking at you hopefully because if I'm talking to you and kind of looking away, it looks like I'm bored with you and not interested. So very, very important tip on recording videos is to look right into the camera. It makes it a lot more engaging, of course. So that, my friends, are my uh, PowerPoint tips specifically around uh, preparing your PowerPoint for Ignite sessions and how to record your own Ignite session into a video that you can then upload and share around the web. As always, if you have any questions, email me, seth at nerdenterprises.com. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.